All right, hello. So we are going to start with matrices, these fun things that we had been doing in the bell ringer. We said we'd mention them and we'd start learning about them. Well, here we are. So let's get some definitions. So a matrix is a rectangular array of numbers. Rectangular array of numbers. Okay, and then we wait, wait, label this array of numbers with a capital letter. Okay, so matrices, which would be the plural of a matrix, matrices have dimensions and they are labeled row by column, row by column. Okay, so if you think about row, row, row your boat and you've got a little boat, do, 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 going to the side, that side to side, okay? So rows go side to side. And then if you think about the columns, that like hold up a building. Let's just say I have a fancy building. Zoop, zoop, zoop. Oh, look at this fancy building. And here's some steps. We got Rocky Balboa jumping over these steps. These things right here are the columns. So for our matrices, these things right here are gonna be our columns. <clears throat> okay, so let's fill in this matrix. Let's say we own a t-shirt store, real colorful t-shirts. We have red shirts and we have orange shirts and we have yellow shirts. And we've got some green shirts and we've got some blue shirts and you'll never guess what's next. Plaid. Oh, we tricked you there. Okay. So let's say we've got four red long sleeve and three short sleeves. Seven orange long sleeve, 15. And let's just fill in these quantities for each. Okay. So we would say these dimensions for this matrix, there are one, two, three, four, five, six rows by one, two columns. Okay, so if I write this as a six by two, all I'm going to do is just keep the numbers exactly where they are and remove the table lines, grid lines, whatever you want to call them. Okay, so let's just call this matrix M, okay? So it's got six rows, two columns, And this is our vocabulary for a matrix, all right? Now, elements, now these are the numbers inside the matrix. So in elements, the elements are numbers inside or within the matrix. Okay, now these elements are labeled with a lowercase letter, labeled with the lowercase letter of the matrix it came from. Now, to tell where in the matrix, we also use 
a subscript, meaning sub below, subpar below what you'd expect, or sub zero, meaning below zero. So subscript of the row and column. Okay, Miss M, what does that even mean? I don't even understand. Well, let me tell you. So if I was, for example, to talk about this element, it is not the element of surprise, it is the number seven. Okay, so if I'm talking about the element from matrix M, I'm going to label this lowercase m. Now, this came from the second row. So, second row. And it came from the first column. Okay. Um, if I was to pick another one, let's pick this one right here. Cuckoo, kachoo. Okay. So, if I was to talk about this element right here, I would say, okay, this came from matrix M. I'm going to use the lowercase m. It came from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5th row. <clears throat> and it came from 1, 2, 2nd column. So that's how we label elements and matrices. Okay, so bit of a review for us because we've been doing these all along so for addition and subtraction there are some rules okay so matrices must have the same dimensions matrices must have same dimensions okay so we add or subtract elements that are in the same position. Okay, so kind of like the bell ringers we've been doing, let's say for instance I have a matrix added to another matrix The dimensions of this matrix are two by two. The dimensions of this matrix are two by two. So when I add these together, I'm gonna get a two by two matrix, and I'm gonna add one plus five, two plus six, three plus seven, and four plus eight. Okay. Similarly, if I were to subtract one matrix from another, so long as they are the same dimensions, I can subtract elements that are in place. One minus five, negative four. 2 minus 6, negative 4. 3 minus 7, negative 4. 4 minus 8, negative 4. Excellent. However, if I try to add one matrix to another matrix that has different dimensions, this is going to give me no solution. Okay, unlike dimensions, mismatch error, your, your calculator will give you a number of sorts of errors. Okay, so we've got addition, subtraction, 
let's move along to what we already know, scalar multiplication. So we're only going to talk about uh, scalar multiplication today. We'll do dot product multiplication tomorrow. So scalar multiplication is when we're multiplying a number by a matrix. Multiplying a number by a matrix. Okay, so the matrix can be any size And all I'm doing is multiplying each element by the number. By the multiplier, we'll say. Okay? So, for example, let's say I have six times our basic matrix right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply the 6 by the 1, and I get 6, the 6 by the 2, the 6 by the 3, and the 6 by the 4. Okay, so this has dimensions same dimensions that are the same. Dimensions as the matrix, the original matrix, we will say. Okay. Um, dot product multiplication. This is done on a calculator. We will revisit that tomorrow. Now that we are online learning, I'm going to get you guys a nice app for this. I think you should be able to find something online. But <clears throat> let's define, lastly, uh, inverse matrix. Okay, so we've added matrix. We've subtracted matrices. Um, we've done the scalar multiplication. So we can't divide when we're talking about matrices. That's the only thing we can't really do. So instead of dividing, we multiply by the inverse. Inverse matrix. Okay. What does that mean to us? Okay, so for example, I don't know why I did that. Okay, so let's say I have this equation. Um, how about we want 3x equals 6. Okay, now normally I would just divide by 3. Divide by 3 divide by 3, and we would know that our answer is x equals 2. Okay, hunky-dory. But, this is the same thing as saying, okay, 3x equals 6. Now, I'm going to say inverse of 3 is one third. Okay, now this makes sense because three as a fraction is just three over one. So we flip it and we've got one third. So if I multiply both sides by one third, okay, this is going to come out. <clears throat> the one third and the three will cancel, and I'm just going to be left with x. 6 times 1 third, well, this is the same thing as 2, and this is the same thing we already know. Okay, so we know how to take inverses of numbers, but we need to now know how to take inverses of matrices. So here we'll be defining how to take the inverse of a 2 by 2 matrix. Okay, so let's say 
we have matrix A. And in matrix A, we have a number right here, a number right here, a number right here, and a number right here. These letters could be anything. They could be numbers. They could be um, fractions. They could be decimals. They could be negative. They could be potatoes. They could be oranges. They could be an elephant. They could be anything. Whatever is there, okay? So long as when we multiply... A times D and subtract B times C. So long as this doesn't equal zero, then we're good or else we'll have no inverse. <clears throat> no inverse matrix exists. Okay, that'll make sense in just a minute. Okay, so if we have this matrix to find the inverse of matrix A, inverse is what this little negative one exponent means, inverse of matrix A, okay, here's what we're going to do. We're going to make a fraction where we take A times D, we subtract B times C, and then we multiply this whole fraction by this new matrix where we're going to switch A and D, and we're going to keep B and C, but we're going to change the signs here. Okay, so you say, Miss M, I don't understand. Can you please show me? Oh, why? I would just be so happy to show you exactly what I mean. Let's say that we have, for example, A equals 1, 2, 3, 4. Those are some nice easy numbers. So this is my A, this is my B, this is my C, and this is my D. So A times B, A, so this should be D here. I made a little mistake. So my D is four. So I have A times D minus B times C. So this fraction becomes four times one minus two times three. Okay. So I'm going to multiply this fraction by this matrix. So I'm going to flip these two numbers, the 4 and the 1. So now my A is over here, my D is over here, and my B and my C will stay the same. But now they are just negative. So now I just have a scalar multiplication. So I'm going to multiply negative one half by four. Negative one half by negative two. Negative one half by negative three. Negative one half by one. And here is the inverse matrix.